So I came to Guitar Center to get this chord for my lead guitar. Look what's going on behind me. Look at you, girl. I'm cute. You cute. You cute. You cuter. <laughs> Listen, we got all these people on here, and I was just telling them um, about how I go from being raised by a mom, making $7 an hour, to being uh, this pastor. But my first passion, my first degree, my first everything was in business. Uh, I've been owning my own business since yeah. my mid-20s. Um, I've been able to accumulate um, millions and millions of dollars. And let me tell you something. This, this is what we're doing right now. This ain't for the people who just need uh, a pastor who can just talk about, right, you know, the gospel and all that kind of stuff. But there are Christians who need money uh, to do the things that God is calling them to do. So you and I have created something. And I kind of want to just hear from you. We created something. But let's just give them a little bit about your background so that way with the two of us, they can at least be assured that we're on, you know, strong footing, solid foundation, and that we're not experts, we're what? We're experienced. Yeah, that's our saying. That's our it's saying. Like, uh, trademark that, huh? We say that a lot. We should. We should. <laughs> so, um, like, what have you done? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tell it all. I want to <laughs> know it all. Um, well, let's see. I went from, okay, let me, let me rewind. I am not, I don't have all the degrees and everything that my husband has. I was, um, I wasn't like the school girl, you know, I did not love it. So I skipped it and, <laughs> and um, I mean, I tried it, just wasn't my thing. Um, and went into just surviving. And I got a job at um, Fox Studios and I was like an assistant to the marketing department and um, did not really know what I wanted to do and um, got there. And again, I was an assistant in a, in a marketing department. So I still was kind of just, it was paycheck to paycheck at that time. And I didn't know anything about India. I didn't know anything about credit, needing to get my credit right. Just just living right when and got all them credit cards that they tell you to get when you're young and mess that up um fast forward to um you know again paycheck to paycheck i got married and life drastically changed but i was so young that i didn't come into marriage with a skill set to know what to do with money you know what i mean i was spending and living and having a great time, not even, it, what was going on around me was not registering with me to do something with it. Now I've always had ambition, I've always had goals, I've always wanted to do something with myself. So during that time I was like, oh, I wanna open up this or that. And it just wasn't really encouraged um, in, in that relationship because everything was good, you know, sit down and, and, and be good. Um, so I, I, I always had these goals and aspirations and wanted to do stuff. I, I just still wasn't financially smart enough to know how to utilize what I had in the correct way. So, right. so, the so next, like a lot of people on here, right? Right. I mean, I was young. I, I was young. I, I, despite the rumors, I didn't save a little for a rain, the rainy day. <laughs> you know, I wish I had them. But, um, you know, I got I got divorced and I really had to start all over. Um, I had to figure out how to manage my money, how what to do with it, um, how to protect it, how to double it. And it was more, again, back to survival mode. Like, listen, this is not always going to it's not always going to be like this. And what really drove me is that I didn't want to have to depend on anybody to get I didn't want child support to be my source of life I was like mm, this ain't it you know uh, I don't care how good it is this ain't it and that was my drive 
uh, just just to get myself together and get my finances together. And, and because I didn't know, I was smart enough to know to get people around me, get the resources, um, get up under people that could help me, you know, that could help me know what to do next and what where to go and it's all about relationships i say all the times that you know careers and and business moves are so relationship driven and um that was something that you know i'm kind of a people person anyway so that wasn't hard but what's hard is being patient when you got somebody that's making millions of dollars it might not have time to tell you what to do with your few dollars but it's it's just you being intentional that's my word you being intentional consistent to have the desire you know your aspiration you want to meet those goals so whatever you got to do grind it out and get it done and that's just that's just what i did i did not know the entertainment industry i did not know that world but once i saw it was an avenue in there I just, I just attach myself to people that could help me. And I so, think that's- So when I hear you saying, cause I, I'm reading these comments and I want uh, y'all to hear what she's saying because your story might not have anything to do with entertainment, might not have anything to do with divorce, but let me tell you what she's saying. She's saying that she had a intentional, consistent mindset that even when everything else was changing, her mindset was like, you know what? I got to get it. Am I right, babe? I got to get it for these kids. I got to get it right for myself i got to get it right for my legacy and that is why you and i created the maximize your biz challenge because we knew for sure that there were millions of people connected to the both of us who need to understand the the steps that they need to take in order to get from the one bedroom they're in right now to the multi-million dollar mansion that they have and listen a lot of people a lot of christians always say stuff like this right babe like it ain't always about the money it ain't always about the money, but sometimes that's all it's about. Because when it's time to pay your bills, you can't send them prayers in an envelope. When it's time to buy a car, you can't send a uh, holy oil. When it's time to send your kids to college and pay off those student loans, you can't send them a prayer shawl. Right. You got to send them cold, hard cash. And we want to show at least a thousand people, right? In order to get our goal, we want to show a thousand people the roadmap to a million okay. and 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 i believe and 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 i want you to finish this this sentence because we talk about it all the time we believe in the numbers so right now we know in order to get to that thousand we need at least twenty thousand people to take this ride with us and let me tell you all something just from the post that we put up today i couldn't believe it five thousand seven hundred people joined up for the for the for the challenge it, I mean, just like that. So we know God has put an anointing on us to do it. We know we got the business acumen to do it. We've got the connectivity to do it. You've done billions of dollars in TV, not millions, ladies and gentlemen, billions of dollars uh, in TV ads. We both earned eight figures in calendar years, and we believe that we have a whole lot that we can impart to people who want to get there. And the goal is realistic. The goal is realistic. It, it, yeah. It, it's absolutely realistic and again it goes back to relationships and it's so much more to my personal story that you know you know of course babe but um <laughs> that i want to share because the I, I really don't talk about my story and it isn't out of being ashamed or anything i think it just never fit into my narrative of of life you know what i mean i never really was I was all, always on a platform to talk about the show or talk about, you know, um, my kids or something. So I really do want to share that because I think that my story is relatable not only to women, but men as well. You know, who wants to be dependent on your job, nine to five job for the rest of your life or dependent on child support or dependent on, you know, just and that that somebody or something um where it's unknown you just don't know and you're you're constantly just sitting there waiting for it just to live that that's just it's it's no way to live so i think that we all have to find that thing that drives us and um be consistent determined intentional be strategic um uh, so you know my husband and i plan on sharing our experience and it's a lot of it between the both of us. Yeah. Uh, 
that hopefully can help you all. And, and that's the goal. I mean, at, at the end of the day, helping somebody is the goal here. It, and, and so so people are saying, where can you find the link? Number one is pinned. You can find it right here. Also, go to either one of our Instagram pages. I am at Pastor Keon. My wife is at I am Shawnee. And click the link in our bio. We've got Linktree. Uh, the first link at the top is the business challenge, the Maximize Your Business Challenge. When you do that, we've got a lot of free resources. Everybody loves free. We got a free productivity manual. We've got a lot of free stuff. I know for a fact, I'm not telling you this because I heard it. I'm telling the 4,000 of you who are currently watching this, I know for a fact that my wife and I together have enough gas in our tank to launch you, your business, and your family to the next level, the next dimension even, and you will never be the same. We're going to get you to that place. Now, it's going to start with the mindset. And, and babe, you said something so crazy that I love. You was like, you got to find that thing that pushes you. You know what? I believe that 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 through this business track that we are actually now we're believers. So you may hear us say God every once in a while, but he's going to use us to push people yeah. into that destiny. Like we're not going to let up on you until you get it. Like we're not quitting on you. We're going to keep throwing the knowledge at you until you get it. I'm going to finish this statement. I want you to close us out, baby. But I was telling, I've been telling people all month about this, this clip. And your dad, God rest his soul, was a great friend with Dick Gregory. Yeah. And um, I remember him um, talking about the long conversations that him and Dick Gregory had on the phone. Yeah. And I was watching him the other day. And every time I see Dick Gregory, I think of dad. And Dick Gregory said, listen to this, y'all. He said, only a fool will want a million dollars. And I looked at it and I was like, what? Right. I said, that's, you know, that's, that's getting it a little bit. He said, no, no. I want you to think about it this way. He said that if you take mil a million dollars and turn it into seconds, you only have 13 days. He said, the universe is so expensive that you should be talking about billions because if you take a billion dollars and convert it in time, you got about 32 to 35 days, excuse me, years. I'm sorry, years. So you go from 13 days to 35 years. It is so expensive out there. It's so much to get. It's so much to do. You don't have to get on nobody. And we're going to show you how to maximize the thing that's inside you so you can pull it out and be a blessing and, and, and just be a boss for generations and generations to come. Go ahead, babe. No, I, everything you said was, was right on point. And I think that come with high expectations because we have and come with high goals and, and, and dreams and things that you want to do with your life, with your business, with your money. Um, this is not for small minds. I will say no. that this is this is for big minded people and ideas. And you want big minded and, and big pockets by the time you're done. Um, <laughs> so we, Tell them, baby. <laughs> pocket little knowledge. Um, yeah. we, want, we want as as he's talking millions and billions nowadays a million dollars ain't gonna last you too long so yeah you gotta go for billions and I know that sounds crazy right it, it, I mean it just sounds nuts but it is so doable um, Keon and I have sat in some rooms in the last six months to a year where the norm in the room is a billionaire that's the norm a millionaire they're like eh Mm, you know, I don't know if we can help you here. So Man. we want to get everybody in that mindset because while sitting in those rooms, I think both of us are sitting there like, why don't more people know this? Like, to know this. And it's so much money out there for us to grab. It's enough for all of us. So, you know, it just was on our hearts to share it. Um, look at my son. Your... I see I see Sharif in there. Now listen, Sharif, <laughs> he, he just finished basketball practice. My guy, he, he's in the G League now. Yeah. He's about to uh he's gonna be entering the draft next year. Uh Mimi in here too. Oh hi. I saw Mimi a while ago. So even our kids, let me tell you something. Even our children 
are million dollar brands in their own right. These kids are off making it. So we're not talking to you and have never done it with anybody. Like my wife is a, we call it a momager because she be out here working deals and, and, and moving this mountain and moving that. The girl is amazing. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, when I am telling you, I know for a fact, we, we're going to have speakers in our group, some of all of them, and at least in the first round, all of them are eight to nine figure earners. Just, just think of that. Everybody's making eight to nine figure earners. And we have been in rooms where the least rich person in the room was somewhere around $125 million. And what we've decided is that we know that everybody can't get in these rooms and get the knowledge. So guess what we're going to do? They may hate on us for it and we don't care. We're going to go in every room and grab every piece of knowledge we can from everybody we can and we're going to bring it to you because you guys are our family you're our tribe so i want you to click that link that's pinned follow us both on instagram turn your alerts on so you can get the knowledge opt in to the maximize your business webinar the link is right there i promise you you don't want to miss it they're already i'm and they just gave me another update we've gone from five thousand seven hundred to nearly 9,000 and we're not even off of, I'm telling you guys, Let's go, people guys. are getting it. It's crazy. And no, Patrick, we can't find your wife in here. This is, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother webinar. So Patrick. yeah, Patrick, they don't even know he's a big brand already. Patrick has been in what has been in Neiman's. He's in Neiman's. Yeah. He's in Neiman's. Oh. Let me tell you, our boy, Pat, he's so, if y'all seen the movie with um, Wesley Snipes and Kevin Hart. Yeah. He is the one that designed um, the jackets wow. that Kevin Hart and Wesley had on. That's another one of our family members uh, and, and and loved ones. So, guys, we got them all over the place. Dollar taste in Atlanta for Teresa. She in here. But, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go big. Let's go let's big. Go big. And that's, right. that's cool. So, thank you, everybody, for joining in. Hey, Patrice. Um yeah, I'm looking at all. You see, people. you see people I don't see. Now, let me tell you, my wife, she gonna get to call all of y'all name, and she gonna, she gonna just, hey, I Patrice, like hey, sh people I know, I just be letting them say, hey. Go ahead, baby. Um, somebody, Patrick, somebody hitting on you in the in the comments, but I'm just saying, hey, hey, Don, um, everybody, thank you guys for tuning in. Join us on this webinar. It, I promise you, I promise you you will not you will not be disappointed okay i'm gonna tell them one more thing all i can tell you this i'm gonna go because my baby always tells me she say baby you tell too much too soon no no this is okay let me just say this <laughs> we're going to have somebody on the webinar tomorrow who is at least making a million a month that's all i can tell them. is that cool that's real cool i think that's okay. so we got we got a special guest that's coming tomorrow million dollar a month earner private jet flying 75 car having multi multi-million dollar uh enterprise and he's coming in our webinar tomorrow to give you some nuggets nuggets and some knowledge and it'll be fun it's not it's not one of those boring moments either i do want to say that. oh no i can't do boring I, and my husband gets on me because i'll get on my phone real quick when i get when i check out of, of, of <laughs> <laughs> It's, I mean, the energy is going to be good. We, I mean, it's just going to be a good time. We're going to learn and come out with some, some knowledge at the end of the day while keeping a smile on our face and staying engaged. And it will be a good time. So hold up. We got to go. But I just seen two people I got to say what's up to. Okay. Antar Muhammad, my guy. And Shakir is in the room, baby. Oh, Lord. Shakir, be, uh, oh, yeah, we need my to go. God. In the comments. <laughs> All right, love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow. Don't forget, <laughs> it's, in the, it's right there. You see he it down there? It. I pinned it, and if you can't, just go to our, our Instagram. Hey, click the link in the bio. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Love you. Want to go? It don't sound like you're trying to go. I don't, you don't want to go either. Well, they got to go, baby. Because. I I made, I made dinner and I need you. Know. All right, I'll tell you what. We can answer. You want to answer a question or two? Or you just want to go? Okay, let's answer a question. But I, we, you, All right. well, you, you got to eat. I smell it. No. I smell it. Okay. Let me no. see it. The first question that I see. 
I don't see All no right. No, I don't see no questions. So we'll just save them for tomorrow then. And uh, I think we're behind because um, I'm seeing see you tomorrow, whatever. Okay, yeah. All right, we out. Bye. I'm going. Peace.